Hey everybody, thanks for joining us here on LinkedIn. Happy to spend some time today and go over the new product that we're launching this week called the Guardian Boiler Feed Water. It's been something that we've been working on here for probably six to nine months based on a lot of requests from the field. And uh, what you see here with the Guardian Boiler Feed Water is a fully integrated boiler feed water analyzer designed for low to mid pressure boiler operations. This is phase one of the Guardian platform. A later phase where it's gonna be intended to launch something more formally designed for medium to high pressure applications. Uh, but the Guardian Analyzer is essentially a sequence of Pixis Analyzer sensors that are designed specifically for monitoring key chemistry parameters in a common low to mid pressure boiler feed water application. As you can see, everything's designed in 316L stainless steel tubing, one quarter inch, with swage lock compression fittings. So you would take your pre-cooled sample that's after a sample cooler at 120 degrees or below and have it enter the Guardian in the lower left corner. First stage is going to be a pressure reducing valve to allow you to manipulate the pressure of the inlet sample. We suggest a sample between 7 and 30 psi as a good supply sample to this analyzer. Obviously the device and the tubing can handle much higher pressure than that up to 100 psi but for this particular application all the samples should be pre-cooled, it should be below 30 psi and the discharge of this analyzer should be going to drain. After the PRV, it'll go through a uh, pressure temperature gauge for a visual indication of the sample temperature after the cooler, uh, where the sample then passes through a Hall Effect stainless steel flow meter. We can actually meter down to one mil per minute of precision of the sample flow going through the analyzer. And the purpose for that is really for troubleshooting purposes in the future in the event that we need to take a look at a sensor and compare it to whether or not the sensor is exposed to flow when the issue occurred. The next phase is a motorized stainless steel ball valve which is triggered on a user set point based on a temperature. And then when you program that temperature set point, this is a safety mechanism to protect those sensors in the event that somebody accidentally turns off the sample cooler. The Guardian comes in four different types of forms, level one through level four. All forms look identical to each other. The only difference is the amount of sensors that come on each panel. So the base level, which is level one, will always come with the ST774 for dissolved oxygen and sample temperature. This is our optical platform for monitoring ultra low levels of dissolved oxygen, as low as 0.1 parts per billion, up to 2,000 parts per billion. It uses a cartridge that's replaceable annually. Very, very effective and popular sensor for Pixis Lab to monitor the performance of that deaerator or the feed water oxygen in general as well as the temperature. So the temperature that we're capturing for control of the sample flow is in fact coming from this unit. So even the base level unit will have the oxygen sensor. On the base level unit, these additional three sensor T's would be blocked and plugged with a stainless steel plug for future use. Should you decide to add these additional sensors to the capability, you could easily purchase the sensor separately, plug it into the quick adapter, and the unit would automatically recognize which sensor you've added and immediately start monitoring and reporting data. The next sensor that the flow goes through is the ST765, specifically designed for measuring sulfite, pH, and ORP. This measures sulfite in a range of 0 to 100 ppm, as well as pH and ORP, for those applications where sulfite is the oxygen scavenger being used. The third sensor that it would go through would be our new stainless steel drop-in fluorescein sensor for traced boiler water chemistry. This is a new design that we released last year, capable of much, much higher pressure than a standard PVC sensor, but still requires sample cooling. The measurement scale of the fluorescein on this sensor is zero to 60 parts per billion for all of those using fluorescein in their boiler trace program. And then the fourth sensor measures ultra-low conductivity, a range of 0 0.02 to 1,000 microsiemens, 0 0.02 equaling 50 megohm as resistivity. Broad range, ultra-low conductivity sensor, commonly used and valuable in boiler feed water cycles of concentration monitoring in your boiler chemistry when compared to the boiler water itself. So as I mentioned before, there are four levels of this device. They all look the same. Level one comes with one sensor. Level two comes with these two sensors sensors, level three, these three, level four, all four. If your budget doesn't allow you to purchase the 
Cadillac version out of the gate. You can start with the base unit and at a later time upgrade and add these additional sensors simply by purchasing the sensor and plugging it in. Because we talk to those sensors digitally via Modbus RS-45, there is no configuration required. This particular data logger is our UC100 AGS data logger. It's a microprocessor driven data logger and it has up to six analog outputs, all of which coordinating with these sensors, but also offers Modbus TCP output as well as Modbus RS-45 RTU output. Another added feature to this Guardian unit and this display is that we've already pre-embedded it with the Pixels 4G CloudLink gateway. The unit will come deactivated, but it is part of the hardware automatically, so that at a future date, if you want to activate this unit for remote data access and cloud data access to allow this device to upload information into your cloud data management system, the capability already exists. You'll see there's a small sample valve here for typical daily boiler operations and sample testing, as well as your inline rotometer or sample flow control, where you can dial in your flow control and track your your reading on the live display of sample flow here and then finally the sample outlet which should go to atmosphere at a very low flow rate you can operate this panel at a flow rate as low as 50 mils per minute to a maximum of about 500 mils per minute excited about this platform and as i mentioned this is phase one of the guardian boiler feed water we'll be preparing for the phase two launch here over the upcoming months we're very excited about this platform one of the big features that i wanted to also talk about is this little shelf right here. Decided to put this on the analyzer for those day-to-day -day checks and calibration tests that are done by operators uh, in the event that they need to remove a sensor, submerge it into a beaker with calibration standard. For calibration purposes, we've added this little shelf for that feature that we got to make their job a little bit easier. We hope you're excited about this. We'll have it at the AWT show so you can touch it and feel it and ask a lot more questions about it. Have a good weekend.